Hey, I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS Salt, your source for open source, and lots and lots of cough drops. Has it really been four years? That's half a decade that I've been talking nerdy to you guys, and hopefully a better voice than this. So I've decided today that I'll do something I should have done a long time ago. Insert awkwardly placed intro here. Brought to you by GoToAssist. That's right, it's question and answer time. I was getting a little bit cryptic back there, wasn't I? You guys have asked some seriously wondrous questions over the years, and would you believe that I saved them on all my various social media networks? I also sorted them chronologically and by keyword frequency, and wow, I am sounding OCD. So without further ado, here are some of your most frequently asked questions and my unabashed, relatively unedited answers. Rick Timmis asks, Okay, when did you first come across GNU Linux, and what was it that stole your heart and made you love it so much? Now I'm going to do my best with the whole excruciating agony of uh, cold in my throat and everything. I came across Debian actually. It was a few years ago and uh, I was kind of a struggling student, community college going for advertising and psychology and it was a really interesting operating system. It was around the same time that I started blogging actually. I did try my hand, no pun intended, at typing out man pages and things like that and I liked the fact that I could teach other people and also learn myself. So then I came, um, I stumbled upon Ubuntu, which I liked a lot better for the user interface. And that kind of got me thinking, this is a great opportunity, open source software and Linux distributions. It's wonderful for people that maybe they're students, maybe they're from uh, underdeveloped nations that can't actually afford the privilege of having, you know, Windows and operating systems that um, we're so accustomed to in the US and more developed areas. So that's why I kind of got into it and why I'm doing it this very day. Philip Klein is asking, have you ever convinced someone, your family or friends, of switching to Linux and how did you do that? This is kind of a funny one. Ex-boyfriend's mom asks, hey, my computer's acting really slow, her laptop, can you do something about it? Install Ubuntu, started running blazingly fast, and of course, she kind of had that initial shock, like, what, where, where do I go from here? But you know what, it's perfect for, not to say like, the elderly, because that would just be rude, but you know, the older, um, they're not power users, basically people just trying to, you know, access internet, email, all that jazz. Ubuntu, most Linux distributions are perfect for that. It's super point and click. Um, I guess I'm rambling now, but I would say it's best for that, um, for, your, for your older family and also for dying beige technology and apparently myself since I am also dying. Andrew Suffield says installing and running open source software is like watching a sports match. Are you going to get in the game and learn to cut code? That is a very deliberate way of saying it, cutting code. You know what? I don't think I'm planning on doing that anytime soon. I really have aspirations of making my own game, but as far as, you know, getting down in the nitty gritty, I'm gonna leave that to the experts. You wouldn't really want a high school teacher helping you with your college thesis, nor would you want somebody who's more for the end user, you know, putting together programs, I don't think. And last but not least, Stephen Work is asking me, which Linux distro does your cat prefer and why? That one's easy, Peaches likes puppy Linux. I got her when I started making videos and when I uh, brought her back from the shelter, they told me that she doesn't really prefer cats. She kind of likes people, but she was the cat that was brought into the shelter to acclimate the dogs in with other cats. So she would walk up to dogs, swat them on the nose, give them the what for, and they'd be totally fine. So puppy all the way. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Um, thanks for watching OS All. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source, where I will be healthy, wealthy, and wise. And if you wanna know more about me in the Linux world, 
ask me some more questions, I'd be totally happy to do this with you guys more in the future. So thanks a lot for sticking with me these four years. I'm gonna go rest now. Tech support. They don't have to be dirty words, but all too often are. I mean, it's hard enough being the go-to IT person when you're in the same office, let alone if you're trying to provide remote support. Well, all that can change with Go to Assist by Citrix. Though vitamin D deficiencies are all the rage with we geeks, Go to Assist allows you to take control of your entire IT world with one simple cloud-based platform, providing live or unattended support on your iPad while you're sipping on gin and juice in the tropics. Or realistically, while you're caffeinating in your local coffee shop. But still, the really awesome thing about GoToAssist is its monitoring feature. You get customizable dashboards displaying performance of all networks, servers, and desktops. Plus, proactive alerting allows you to fix small issues before they become big problems. So you come out looking like a hero. Oh, and it's super easy to set up, not to mention it's a product by Citrix, a trusted leader in IT, but I'm sure you already knew that. Sign up for your special 30-day free trial today. Visit gotoassist.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code OSALL. That's gotoassist.com, promo code OSALL. You never know, it might help me feel better. I hope so.